Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series on the Mr. DE10 Nano FPGA board. And today we're taking a look at Hotego's Sega 16A cores. Now this is a review, but these are still in beta and you do need to be a member of his Patreon to get the beta key to play these. But I've been getting a lot of requests to talk about this, so just keep in mind that this isn't final release. Although if there are any bugs to iron out, I sure as hell can't find them because this seems arcade perfect to me. Before we get to Fire and Lob though, if you me a huge favor, down below hit like and subscribe and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down there as well. But I absolutely love the Sega 16 hardware and there are multiple revisions. We're just talking about 16A because at the beginning of this video, Hotego is still working on the 16B cores. But since each core is its own thing, make sure that you set your controls for each individual core because they do not carry over like something like a console would. And you'll see here we just have the basic set of adjustments. I usually leave everything is normal. That works perfectly fine for me. What you do need to know is you can turn the service menu on because all of the different options on the 16A are articulated via dip switches. So you can go into the test menu and change things, see what they are, but I recommend you just going to the dips. Just make sure you reset the core soft reset when you were done so these changes do take you'll see the reset button right underneath credits just do that and any of the changes you make will be set on the core and i have checked they do save from one to the other but the sega 16a was an awesome arcade platform and it gave us some of the franchise the sega was known for in the late 80s and early 90s and i absolutely love it i don't collect that much for it though honestly because this was a little bit before my time in arcades we're talking you know late 80s games here i have played them in arcades before but not as a kid so my nostalgia factor isn't huge for them but playing it on the Hotego course on Mister is absolutely amazing. And taking a look at Alex Kid here, it's bright, it's colorful, it's running exactly how I would expect that I have played this game from start to finish in arcades before, and this is exactly what I would expect it to be. So even though this is a beta at this point in time, there may be some slight changes coming down the line. I think this is basically arcade perfect, and honestly, I can review it and say it is absolutely spectacular. And these are really good games. This is the Sega back in the Master System days Sega before they became the company that made the Genesis and started doing the Sega System 32, Model 2, Model 3, things like that. This is the origin of Sega in a way and it's absolutely fun to see what they were doing before they were the Sonic the Hedgehog company. Things like Shinobi are just iconic games, and getting a Shinobi PCB costs an absolute fortune. So having these playing perfectly on the Mister is an amazing thing because it allows you to experience the entire platform without having to spend thousands of dollars. Now I will say that there's a couple games that do not run on Mister because of complex control issues. Maybe they will run someday, but right now they don't. And that's just because Sega did do some interesting things with the control schemes as far as their arcade boards were concerned. But you're getting 99% of the games. And honestly, the ones that aren't available right now, there's one baseball game that uses this three axis analog control. You're really not missing all that much. The biggest hits are here. I mean, you can't go wrong with Shinobi and the fact that you have a budget Spider-Man coming down the wall. If you never played this game from start to finish, it's basically copyright infringement heaven. But it is an absolutely amazing arcade game from Sega and it's great to have it. And just moving on, the Sega 16A has a ton of different genres. It's a lot of fun. Now I definitely prefer the Sega System 32 games and that's just because I grew up with them. And I really hope the Hotego or someone else comes and puts those cores on the Mister because they're some of my favorite games of all time before Sega gets to the Model 1, 2, and 3. So I really hope in the future that's something that does happen. And definitely if you're interested in these cores, become a Hotego Patreon member. He's doing amazing things on Mr. But as good as this looks and plays, I would say that the sound is absolutely spectacular. I had zero issues whatsoever with the sound the entire time, and a lot of times it seems like the sound is a little bit rougher on beta cores than the actual gameplay. But something like Fantasy Zone here, it sounds exactly like I would expect it to sound. It is just the perfect tune and pitch, exactly like you'd expect it to be in arcades. So go ahead and listen for like 30, 45 seconds, and I'll come back and talk more about the history of the 16A and just how good it is on Mister. But enjoy, because this song is great.
Not only does the audio implementation on Mr. Sound Perfect, that song is just absolutely spectacular. The entire Fantasy Zone soundtrack is one of my favorites. And I have played this from start to finish multiple times on an arcade PCB, and i played the ports as well. And if there's any differences between this and an original PCB as far as the implementation is concerned, I absolutely cannot tell the difference. And I collect a lot of arcade stuff and play a lot of arcade games, so honestly, if I can't tell, I don't think anyone would be able to tell unless they play Fantasy Zone exclusively. But other games like Body Slam here, they're decent. The Sega 16A isn't all hits. Something like the Sega System 32, I think, is 99% amazing games, and you're going to get some mixed bags here. This isn't a bad wrestling game by any stretch of the imagination. It's just not as good as some of the other arcade wrestling games that you could choose to play. But honestly, it's great to have this as well because it is a pretty fun game if you're playing with friends. Like I said, it's decent but not great. And that's the thing about the 16A is not all of the games on it are the best things in the world, but the ones that are really good are absolutely incredible hits. And just moving on here to a pinball game. I mean, what can you say about a pinball game? It's exactly what you'd expect it to be, except it's a video game, not an actual pinball table. And of course, because it is pinball, I absolutely suck at it. Because I never talk about pinball on my channel, I do not play it, I am not good at it, I put a quarter in and I usually walk away within 45 seconds when I lose. But if you're interested in playing some pinball on the 16A, you totally 100% can do that. And at this point in time, hopefully the 16B cores come out soon. I will be reviewing those once most of them, if not all of them, are out. I kind of wait until the very end that way i can talk more about what's going on and you can tell here that sega definitely got to the sport of tennis before virtual tennis because we're taking a look at passing shot and this is actually a really fun tennis game it doesn't look like much honestly but it plays really well and you can actually get really engrossed into it and i just love the look and feel of the sega 16 games this was better than we had at home consoles but it still has that really early 16-bit vibe thing going on to it it's got a lot of different pastel colors you can definitely tell the hardware we set up to look the best on these type of colors and it shows but even alien syndrome here this is a hit i talk about the 16a having some hits and some decent games alien syndrome is absolutely spectacular it's amazing i love it i can't get enough of it and if you play two players it's even better and it's great to be able to have this on mister because i haven't seen a cabinet for this in years but now if friends come over i can pop it on we can do two player mode perfectly easy and everything works incredibly now we have Wonder Boy as well, a side scroller. There is a lot of genres on the 16A and that's what I really appreciate. You have some racing games, you have some platformers, you have some sports games, you have wrestling, you have shmups, you have everything you're looking for in an arcade board and that's why I love these cores. Now like I said earlier, don't forget, these are still in beta and even if you use the update all script, if you're not a Jotago Patreon member, you're not going to be able to get them. I'm a member, maybe you should be too, I have nothing to do with him, he doesn't sponsor these videos but he does a lot of awesome work on mister so maybe think about doing it because there's a lot more arcade cores coming up from him that are going to be even more fun in the future when he gets to 16b but yeah that is the sega system 16a core for the mister honestly it's a collection of cores each individual for the arcade board that it was using but i think it's absolutely incredible and i don't know what's going to change between beta and a public release but right now everything seems great leave me a comment down below did you play the sega 16a games when they were in arcades are you old enough to have experienced them or you're like me and just a little bit too young to come across them short of that i will be back next thursday with the episode in our mystery series and i'll have videos throughout the week as well but like i said earlier do me a huge favor go down below hit like subscribe and that notification bell definitely helps us out but yeah check these games out if you never played them they're a ton of fun we'll see you guys next time bye bye